Hey people, how una they do? So based on info where they reach us all the way from the palace, be say only oh, brother don't vex. Yes, he don't vex. Say eh? it's high time he spoke. Yes, because it's been a very very long time where him don't talk about this matter, and the matter no they take the route where him expect or him want at all. So he don't reach time where make him follow talk on top of this matter. So waiting all of this olori they take do for inside the palace. Truly, he don't reach say make only brother talk. According to him, him coming out to give Olori Naomi his maximum support was more than enough. But it seems like this woman want to hear more than that from him, so he is ready to say it. And right now he has come to wage his maximum support for Olori Naomi. Not be just support though, him come out to come make a very, very huge announcement concerning Tedeni Kawo and Olori Naomi. Yes, now waiting him come out to come do be that. According to him, enough is enough. Yes, this woman should stop dragging Terenikawo alongside his mother because what they are literally doing now, anything that happens to that boy, it will be at their own and like it will be a good to them because that is exactly what they want that is what they have been hoping for because at that boy's little age and uh, what they are doing is more like they don't really really want him to exist or they want him out of this space so at this point he's not finding it funny yes for them they might find it funny they might find it fun they might find it something they are doing pleasantly but him he's not finding this whole palace wahala funny again and and as he stands right now on his brother has come out to give a very very strong warning consigning Olori Naomi and Prince Tadeni Kawo. That man has stated that all of this Olori should avoid Tadeni Kawo and Olori Naomi. He said if you have a beef, you should go and try to settle it somewhere else. But you see these two, Olori Naomi and Prince Tadeni Kawo, you should stay away from them. He has also tried to make us understand that Tadeni Kawo is his brother's son. And the only thing him as his as Oni's brother and uh, would do is to support Oni in a time like this and he's coming out with his full chest to come and support and i think this is coming out as a result of wrong care statement wrong care once said only would regret someday and thinking that what is on ground it's actually what favors him and what he's seeing is far different from what really really exists and that was actually concerning prince tadeni kawo and then you know that this statement coming out it was it is quite a huge statement to make concerning someone because olori naomi has been in the palace over time and we know that she's kind of she's a faithful person she's someone who will not all of a sudden wake up in a day and then decide to you know sleep around yes because but Ronke was trying to make us understand that only should not put hopes that Tedenikawo is his son. Perhaps one day he will he will discover that ah Tedenikawo is not even my son and it will be a very, very deep regret for him. So that statement actually pulled the woman of Ileife to act, to call her to act to, to caution her. Yes, they actually cautioned her and uh, called her to order. I know a lot of things. The prominent men who spoke that she should have proof of the statement she's making, or she would definitely regret if she makes that statement again. As it stands right now, only brother feels every single thing happening in the palace is so so uncalled for. And if it was properly looked into, it would have not has gotten to this point. Yes. But all this why all of Onagura agree with me, say only brother has been quiet for a very long time. He chose not to talk or say anything at all. But well, he has some personal reasons for that. Because when he came out openly to give his support to Olori Naomi, he actually felt to a very large extent that was enough. And, you know, he, it is not always all the time that he would have to come out, talk, say this one, do that one. I you know, blah, blah, blah. But right now, based on what he has to say, he has to say a lot. And one of the things he is saying, it is pertaining the fact that all the Olori in the palace are exaggerating every single thing happening in the palace. He's trying to tell us that everything in the palace is not as bad as they're trying to project it. Yes, even Kabi is developing cold feet is because of what he heard, but he has gone back with Olori Naomi and they hosted Governor Adeleke together. And right now, him as own his brother, what he has to say it's simple that Olori Naomi is returning into the palace and whosoever is not finding this pleasing enough should start packing the person's bags to leave tomorrow will be 30th of November and on Friday 
we will be in December. As Friday crosses, Naomi will cross two years that she left the palace because she left the palace in December 2020. It will be a whole two years that she left the palace. And on that note, she's letting all the Oluri know that they have not won. Naomi will definitely return back into the palace and whosoever is not finding it okay should start packing right now to leave. That was the same thing Oni's father came out to say. Oni's father gave them a two-way option that if you feel you will stay and they will have more problem please pack and leave but if you feel you want to stay then you have signed an agreement not to bring further problems into the palace and a lot of them move none of them wanted to go so that could tell that okay all of them have signed an agreement to stay and based on what on this father said to them if you are staying then certainly you have signed an agreement not to cause any form of chaos or problem in the palace but it seems like they heard it it passed through the other ear and they are doing what they want because right now these women are causing more harm than good so my people now waiting their ground with that oh yes presently now now waiting we take the hair allegedly on top internet with that yes all the way from the palace I and mean, we take here my people this one before you reach the internet we don't already get the info say only oh, brother don't come out to talk and it was quite and triggering when he spoke yes because it's been a while he came out to say something and you know everybody was expecting only brother would talk and only brother would talk during that period that everyone was coming out to merge his or her support for Olui Naomi but he did not say anything but you remember when he came back from Uganda there was something he said that Olui Naomi should learn to teach this woman a lesson if any one of them try any nonsense like this Pew, one time, carry him, go lock him up. And he used Miriam as an example up to a point that only, only himself had to sign an undertaking against Miriam. And you know, every single thing turned out that Miriam being double at that time, she, she could calm down that period to, to what? To let peace reign in the palace. But right now, only brother is trying to make us understand that his brother's wives are behaving like they are not that, that they can't control them they are uncontrollable so he wants to let them know that even a loose dog a, a dog that has rabies can be controlled yes you know a dog that has rabies runs mad when it bites you there are tendencies of you as a human being too you will start barking and then you know, all of those so it is very very dangerous so he's telling them that even a dog that has rabies can be controlled so they should be very very careful of what they are doing it's actually been a long time that we have all waited for on his brother to come out and say something because truly these women have constituted a lot of nuisance in the palace and it's high time someone said something about their attitude and thank god he has come out to say something and what he has said it is not too far from what their father said yes their father wants to tell them that see if you want to stay then you are signing a peace agreement but if you want to go then go if you know you can you will stay and there will be no peace then go but yeah this woman keeps ex 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 excluding different sort of attitude every single day so one can't tell and then on his brother has also come out to come say exactly what the father said so right now we go wait see you who won disobey make we see because only brother he's not like only he can actually take a very drastic action and we all know that